Well, would you believe this is my mother's recipe box? Mom didn't, wasn't a big believer in writing down recipes. They were all in her head. But I did ask her at times to write some of her favorite or our favorite recipes down. And this is how Mom did it. And here's one. Uh, two eggs, one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of milk, cut into rectangles, four by six. I don't know what that was for. I don't know what she was making that day. But I did find one that is great. It's for her zapolis. And zapolis are a fried dough. Uh, so we're going to be doing some frying today. But again, this is an Easter treat or a Christmas Eve treat that we would have just a couple of times a year. So let me get you started on making zapolis. Zapolis take just three ingredients, flour, yeast, water, and salt. Well, that's four, okay? Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we want to get our water warm, and we want to have it at about 115 to 120 degrees in order to make sure that the yeast will rise, that the flour doesn't kill the yeast is the only way I can explain that. And I sometimes have problems with making dough because the water is just not the right temperature. So 115 to 120 is a good temperature when working with yeast and, and uh, flour. So we're first going to dissolve our yeast, one package of dry yeast and one cup of very warm water. We're going to mix that until the yeast is dissolved. And let that sit for a few seconds and it should start to foam up. And when it foams up, you know you have the right temperature of water and that your yeast is fresh. And also when you buy yeast, always check the expiration date on the package uh, or on the jar. I sometimes buy the larger jar. Make sure that the expiration date has to, that the yeast is not expired. So we'll let that sit and work, let the yeast work. And I'd say, oh, just for about three minutes. The yeast has been sitting for about uh, three, four minutes, and you can see there's a little foamy foam starting, and that's pretty good. That's good. That's what we want to see. To this now, we're going to add one cup of all-purpose unbleached flour and half a teaspoon of salt. Some of the zapoli fried dough that's almost like a pizza dough. So when the zapla is fried, it comes out more doughy, more like a donut. This will be a very airy, and I'll tell you why. We're not going to make this into a normal bread dough, a pizza dough. We're going to make it to be very runny, sticky, and I would refer to that if, if you do any wallpaper, and wallpaper paste, glue. See how runny that is? Mix that through. Try and remove some of the lumps. You don't want any lumps in there. And this is going to sit in a warm spot in your kitchen. Sometimes in your oven is a fine place to keep it. We're going to cover it, and we'll do the mom's method of covering. She would use a tea towel, a dish towel. Cover the bowl with a dish towel. Place a plate over the top. And let that sit for about an hour to an hour and a half till it gets foamy. And I have some already made. And as you can see, how bubbly and foamy that is, that's going to be our zapoli. I'm not one who does much deep frying. I really don't approve of eating too much deep fried food. But as I said, once in a while, this is a treat. Children love this. Uh, just be careful, you're working with hot oil, don't have children running around, or the little doggies like my little Freddy, keep them out of the kitchen while you're making this. I'm um, using canola oil, I took a whole bottle in fact, I uh, try to find the best pot I have to hold about three inches of canola oil, and we want to maybe have room for two or three to cook at this one time. One of the ways to know if your oil is hot enough, just drop a little bit in there. If it sizzles, 
it's fine and it's not hot enough yet. So let's wait a while. Let me get that hotter and we'll start. I've been heating that oil for quite some time to get it at a real hot temperature and I've been doing it at a medium high. It uh, looks like it's about ready to go so let me drop another sample in there. And it'll sink to the bottom and then it'll rise to the top quickly. There you go. And when we're doing the large ones, it'll do the same thing. And what we want to do is let it get brown before we take it out. See? It's puffing up. And now it has to brown. and gets a golden brown color. This is a nice golden oh. brown. Okay, let's take that out. And every time we take them out, we drain them on a paper towel. Okay? That's a little one. That's a baby one. Now I'm going to do these the way Mother did. This was Mother's method. She used her hands. It's pretty messy. But you get great shapes, and children love the different shapes. It's like looking at clouds and saying, oh, I see a dog in the cloud. So take a handful and carefully drop it. Another handful. They make, you can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. See the crazy shapes that they're turning into? I'm going to do three at a time. Okay, there you go. Don't want to lose any of that. Those will cook, and I'll keep turn. I'll turn them to keep getting them brown. Okay, turn them over. I'm having trouble turning these today. There you go. There you go. Let's get you over. Look at the funny shapes. And I'm going to take this little piece out. Once they're golden brown, then just take them and drain them on the paper towel. These are best eaten right after they've been done. And I'll show you how we sweeten them up. Okay. There you go. Ready to come out. So there are three cloud shaped zapoli. Now I'm going to do them Mary's way. Less messy on the hands. See if we still get some interesting shapes. I'm going to use a large spoon. And as you can see, the oil is really hot now, so I'm going to drop it from a spoon. really need to make a lot of these because people will be eating these as soon as they're coming out of the uh, oil. As I said, children love them. But don't make them too often. Now we've got a little bit left for a little baby. There you go. The basic recipe was the one cup of flour one cup of water, half a teaspoon of salt, package of yeast. You can double it, triple it, just remember, uh, use the same quantity, the ratio, and do not get it too uh, doughy. Do not get it like a pizza dough. You want to have this airy, open zapel. Oh, these are browning up really nice. The oil is just perfect right now. These will be ready to come out in a second. There are three ways to serve the zapoli. My favorite is plain, nothing on it. Children love it with powdered sugar. So you just take a little confection of sugar and sprinkle it over the top. And as I said, these are best eaten when they're warm, when they first come out. And the way my husband loves it is with a drizzle of honey on top. go. Happy Easter. Zapoli.